Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mark T. Engberg. At least that's what the cue card says. We are here in beautiful Macomb, Illinois, at the Hainline Theater, where so many of the great show business legends have passed through over the years. I am standing here in the lobby of the theater in front of an artistically reinvented series of pallets, warehouse pallets, which have been varnished and uh, refurbished. And we are standing here behind the very glamorous stanchion where so many of tonight's audience members, celebrities, stars of McDonough County will be passing through. And lest you think that here at the Hainline Theater uh, we are not eco-friendly, we have a recycling bin set up right next to the stanchion area. So if you need to dispose of any cardboard or bottle materials, please feel free to do so at your convenience. Ladies and gentlemen, I am joined here by uh, Macomb's own, uh, sir, tell, me, tell us your name. Dimmick Bymaster. Dimmick Bymaster. That sounds like a piece of exercise equipment I can buy from the TV for four easy payments. Tell us the origin of your name, sir. Very unique name. Is that uh, a local, uh, does it have any local roots? Uh, no, I don't believe so. It uh, probably came from Germany. Ah, so you're of German extraction. Yes. Are many people in this uh, area of German extraction? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. So you were blazing a trail, you and your family, a German trail that has yet to be followed. Yes. And uh, Demick is a family name, and it comes from uh, the Wilson, who uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Uncle Sam. Well, I've he heard was of him. Sam Wilson. I've heard of him. Well, he would be a great, 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 great uncle. So, so Uncle Sam, the guy from the poster, uh -huh. the guy who who wants us to be. That's right. I want you for I the. Want you. you know. That's right. He, he Wilson, Dimmick is a diminutive of Wilson. In the Wilson family, it, Dimmick was one of their names. One of so. their names. Okay. Right. So you are a descendant of the actual Uncle Sam. Yes. yes. And what could be more American than that? Not much, I guess. So drop the whole German act and just be what you are, which is uh, just a total, just a patriotic, just, you, you know, put the stars and stripes on and march down the avenue with a tuba. No. Well, uh, I was talking about the origin of the name. Oh, the origin, the origin. Yeah. And now, are you uh, lovers of comedy and musical theater? Uh, yes, absolutely. Musical theater majors. Ooh, musical theater majors. Now, uh, so well-versed in the musical theater arts, what are some of your favorite uh, musicals? Oh, God, that's so many. I hate that question. Ah! It's the worst question to ask a musical theater major because it, there's no short answer uh, to that. It's, a well, it's just a, usually you ask somebody, just like, mm, Phantom of the Opera. But um, I know you've got many offbeat musicals. Um, I enjoy Bonnie and Clyde. I have not heard. Is that a, I have not heard of that music. I know the movie. Yeah, was, it, was it originally a musical? Uh, no, it was just, uh, it was turned into a musical. Uh, I don't remember what year, but it, it was, was like a few years ago. I believe it was a graphic novel initially, uh, and then it was a movie, and then they did a miniseries, and then it was a musical. Yes. And yes, yes, yes. now it's a, um, an art installation mm -hmm. at, um, at Eastern Illinois University. They've got it. We've stopped in the donor lounge here at the Hain Line Theater. This is the donor lounge um, to pay our respects to the great Andrew L. Hainline. That's uh, Andrew Laramore Hainline, for those who know, um, who um, was the great founder of this, um, of actually this whole theater, but he really, he specifically designed this area. He did, he drew up the mock-ups and everything, and he Choose the chose the upholstery. I am joined here by the house manager here at the Hainline Theater, Keely. Her last name is Music. Keely yeah. Music. Like follow. Like follow. Exact. Now is it spelled M U S I C? M U S I C K. Okay. Now is that also of German extraction? Is it Czech? Is it Slovak? What What is it? You know, I probably should know, but I don't. So. We don't know. We don't know. All you need to know is that it fits your job 
description. There was a Seinfeld episode about that, I think. What was there? I think there was about people whose last names were the thing that they did. Like Marty Bookman was like an investigator for the oh, New York Public like Library. Maybe, yeah, sure. I don't know. Like, I was, like John it's Fish. Like, I'm just, like stuck with music for the rest of my life. Like, You're stuck. No, like blocked in. No other yes. profession. For you can either be the house manager here or open up a store that sells percussive instruments. That's it? Those, those are my two options. Only those two. Oh. Or you could uh, open a tape cassette store, although business model-wise, probably not recommended. Well, right. You've heard it here first, folks. We're feeling it, and we're going to keep it simple, uh, and we're going to just quit while we're ahead. <laughs> so signing off from the Hainline Theater with some of Western Illinois University's best and brightest and future stars of the Great White Way. <laughs>